Situated in the bustling heart of Redfern, South Everly Locomotive Workshops offer a glimpse back through time into the expansion of Sydney's rail network. Opening in 1887, the locomotive workshop was comprised of 15 bays, each housing equipment and facilities required to construct and service locomotives. Today, the former workshop site celebrates this history and capitalizes on the building's historic and aesthetic values to revive community and culture in the precinct. Trendy cafes, restaurants, offices, and bars inject new life. While original machinery and artifacts hang from the ceiling and walls, celebrating the site's industrial heritage character. The preservation and continued use of original blacksmith forges in bays 1 and 2 amid smells of burning iron and steel, providing sensory cues to former operations. The project has cautiously employed retrofitting to the existing building fabric, keeping original internal and external structure. The patina of the brickwork evidences the designer's efforts to retain the site's aesthetic. Among the changes, a high-trust gable roof allows for natural light and enables modern services, creating a sense of openness within enclosure due to its sheer height. New mezzanine levels in some of the bays accommodate commercial floor space. Black finishes on added structures sympathetically contrast with the original cast iron columns and steel girders. Modern building codes demand fire exits that are retrofitted at the building's façade, a striking juxtaposition between the old walls and the new metal egresses. The glass structure for new openings is set behind original doors, and original rail tracks on the ground floor have been restored and integrated into a new polished concrete floor. Along with architectural decisions, the developers include artifacts and educational signage around the building, further highlighting its history. Visitors arriving by the underground parking annex ascend through a tunnel lined with immersive digital displays, which transitions to carved stone walls before opening into the space of the atrium. While the majority of adaptive reuse efforts have been seamless, this design decision is garish and contrived, involving destruction of the building's original foundations. Ultimately, the project is successful in animating the site's transformative history through adapted uses and appropriately balanced new material and structure within the old setting. Without adaptation celebrating the site, it is likely the workshops would have sat empty with little life. Instead, it is now a place of storytelling. A symbiotic relationship has thus been created with the old and the new, establishing a sense of connection to our past while catering for a diversity of present and future communities.